Who is the greatest Formula One driver of all time? It's a question as old as the sport itself. To find out, we could count number of titles or number of race wins. But how can we be sure that these results are the result of the driver and not as a result of driving a better car than their opponents? We set out to find an answer to this question. What we needed to do was separate out the effect of drivers from the effect of the teams that produce the cars. We were able to do this because drivers moved between teams and we could see how they performed with better and worse teams against better and worse teammates. We used what is called a multi-level model, which separates out all of what is going on in Formula 1 race results into a team level and a driver level. What did we find? First of all, the team matters much more than the driver, about six times more in fact. And taking the driver's effects on their own, we found that the best driver of all time was the Argentine Juan Manuel Fangio. Of current drivers, Fernando Alonso is the best and fifth greatest of all time. Michael Schumacher is only eighth and Lewis Hamilton is twelfth. Bizarrely, Christian Fittipaldi, who never won a race, was eleventh. Not what you expected? That isn't surprising. We all have our favourites, but it is difficult for people to separate a driver from their car or the exciting way they drive from their actual race results. The statistical model is able to do that for us, giving drivers who never drove a decent car a chance to have high rankings. But I doubt that will convince you if you are a fan of a driver that comes out low ranked, so let the debate continue.